We're back with the Dana Bay video. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done the Dana Bay. Since been. America, we did someone else's bay. America. So America. we've got the winner of LK Performance's uh, competition in the, in the bay today with their Nissan. And we're just getting them involved with teaching them how to detail it and get it ready for winter. Yeah, so, so LK Performance had a massive competition, didn't they? <clears throat> massive competition. This guy won the works, really. Wheels, tires, yeah, exhaust. Call overs, everything. everything. Yeah. And he's going for a wrap as well. So we'll make sure the surface is nice and prepped for that. Nice. Uh, which is the main thing, so we want to make it as perfect as we can. And yeah, we'll make sure the rest of the paint as well reflects how good that new vinyl is going to look with some no swirls, nice gloss, and some protection. Nice one, brother. do first is kind of wash the car and dry it at the same time so I know your dad's familiar with the washing mic anyway but you've never tried it no so this is the safest product to use to wash the car without using your bucket wash mitt grit garbage yeah. stuff like that so you want to get it nice and saturated like that so what this is going to do is lubricate the surface instead of just saturating it with detailer it's actually essentially a sprayable shampoo so it's lubricating the surface wipe with one direction with the first towel then with the second towel, buff in the opposite direction. So get it nice and folded and do that. Right. You'll never get white marks, so you just get a nice streak-free finish. Yeah. And the reason we use two towels is so you're not constantly pushing the same dirt and grime around. So once you've finished the panel, just fold it to a new side that essentially you've got a new towel then. Yeah. What would you suggest then next, Dale, if you've washed and waxed the car? Yeah. Because obviously you haven't used the proper... No, method, so, so we've dry washed it like we normally do. As you have you seen sometimes in the bay, people just want to get straight in. and a lot of them raining outside, it's not... It's raining outside, and a lot of, a lot of the cars that come in um, show their cars at shows and events. Um, so what we try and show them, and what, what we do show them, is how to safely wash it using products that aren't a bucket, a grit guard, a wash yeah. mitt, and a tap and a hose and stuff like that. So because it is horrible out there, we are using the multi-purpose cleaner just on the lower surfaces. Uh, so this is our, one of our newest products and it's great for degreasing, removing hardened grime from seals and inner arches and wheels and tires and stuff like that. Nice. So now we've done the body work, we're just going to do some of the grimy bits with a different product. Nice. Little thumb there, mm -hmm. thumb. That, yeah, it's the new positive. Yeah, oh, positive. Positive yeah. outlook. I'm, <laughs> I've realised I'm far too miserable. Ah. Mm. See, don't waste cloths, kids. Don't waste cloths, kids. Don't waste cloths. That's a quite a big tongue twister. Don't make cloth clips. Don't waste cloth kids. <laughs> Big tip of the bay. That is grimy. That is grimy. But that doesn't look nice and fresh. Oh. Cloth management, Patrick. Cloth management. management. That job's a good one. Excellent work. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. That, that, that. It, it definitely went in. You actually threw something. It definitely went in. Prove it. Fair play. Clay bar, clay bar, you are my clay bar. Du, 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 du. You feel that? It's quite firm yeah. to start with. And what you do, you start working it in your hands and getting it nice and soft like that one. And then with the detailer, just get the surface nice and lubricated because the more you use of this, the better. And all you need to do is use fingertip pressure only. Right. So just put it on the paint, there's no need to press on it. And then just lightly go side to side like that. Then once you've done a section side to side, you know how we've been wiping down the panel? Just go the opposite way. So I'll get you oh. doing that for every process. Yeah. So always go left and right, then up and down. So like I say, you'll start feeling it grab stuff as it's working. You can use it on glass, get it on paintwork, it's all good. Right. And then once you've done an area, just get a clean cloth, just wipe it down. Wipe it down. Right. Does it need like reworking? Yeah, so once you've, done a whole, once you've done an entire panel, yeah. fold it and knead it again. Yeah. And then so you've got a fresh bit. So again, just wipe it down. That. So if you feel that with the back of your hand, go from there to there, it should feel dramatically different. Yeah. It loses that texture, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So that's all it's doing. It's not going to change how this looks, but it'll change how it feels. Yeah. Cool. 
but what we can do is I'm gonna try and do as little as possible, not because I'm lazy and it's Wednesday, but because it's more fun if you get involved. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you on this half of the bonnet some techniques when it comes to machine polishing, and then I'm gonna let you loose on that side, and when you feel comfortable, we'll then kind of open up the whole car for you and me to kind of work on. I can do the awkward sections, and you can do like the, the roof and the doors and stuff like that when you feel comfortable. Yeah. That's cool with you. Yeah. As you can see, we've got some pretty heavy swirling in there, which is fine. Swirls look circular, just because of how the light's hitting it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you apply wax in straight lines or circles, really doesn't matter. Swirls just happen because people love their cars, so they wash their car all the time, they're always wiping it down and stuff like that. So over time, they're gonna come back, but whenever you're detailing a car that's never been detailed before, they always look the heaviest, obviously. So they'll never be this heavy again, if you know what I'm saying. We've got three different kinds of pads. So we've got the cutting, which is the firmest, if you, wanna, if you feel that. Then you've got the polishing, which is a nice kind of mid-range pad. Then we've got the finishing, which is ultra soft. So when you go from there to there, there's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. And the reason they're so slim is to keep it a nice kind of smooth buffing experience. Yeah. You know, if you have a big giant pad, it can shake like that. So keeping it nice and sli slim allows it to spin easier. We're gonna start with the yellow pad. Now I know I showed you the cutting pad, but what I like to do is start with a soft approach because it might not need the big heavy aggressive pad. So if you start with like a medium gray pad like this one and our ultimate compound, do a few passes. If they're not budging and it's super hard paint, then you move on to a more aggressive pad. But if it's coming out nice and easy, job done. You've got a nice easy system going. This is our DA polisher. Now there's a lot of, you hear a lot of scary stories about machine polishing like burning through paint and catching edges and stuff like that. They generally come from rotary polishing. Now a rotary polisher spins on a central axis like that. That means it generates way more heat and way more friction. Whereas a DA oscillates, so it's never really in one place at one time. So it keeps the paint a bit cooler. It's never really concentrated to one area and it's just a bit more easy to use. So you'll never burn paint using a DA. This is gonna look pretty dramatic to start with. And I know I was telling you about how little product use when it comes to Meguiar's and this is actually going to contradict that massively. But what I want to do is prime the pad. So you do this at the start of the detail, get it on there like that. And then with a towel or a spreader or anything you have to hand, feed it into the pad like this. And you know traditionally people put their pads in water or use detailer as a lubricant. You might as well just use the product itself because then you're not diluting it. You only ever do this the once at the start of a detail and that's it. Just keeps the pad nice and soft. So if you feel that now, yeah? yeah, just makes it a lot easier to work with. It keeps the product cool, keeps the paint cool. Just means you can do longer passes. It's gonna do five little dots. <clears throat> you can do like a happy face, you can do a cross, you can do an unhappy face. A few golden rules on machine polishing. Always keep the cable over your shoulders. This way it doesn't rub on the paint beneath you. Always start and stop the machine, which is the big one, on the panel. Because you've done a good job of cleaning the car, you don't want to start spreading product everywhere. So always start and stop it on the panel. It's not going to do any damage, so don't worry about it. You see on there, we've got swirl and defect removal, 4.8 to 5.8. Now, considering this goes way up to 7.5, it's quite a slow speed. It's quite a moderate kind of working speed. So before I do anything, I'm going to stamp out my work area, like that. I never really want to give myself too much to do when I'm compounding, because I want to keep it into a concentrated area. And you see you've got grooves here in the, in the bonnet. Yeah. Always work up to them, never over them. Right. Solely because it gets a bit of air in the pad and it'll shoot product everywhere. and that's the least amount of paint on your car and you don't want to take too much paint off it. Slowest speed on the machine, I'm going to spread the product. Because you know how we primed the pad? We're going to prime the bonnet. Like that. So everywhere's got a nice equal share. When it comes to working the surface, you know we do your up, down, left and right? Exactly the same. Up and down, left and right. And repeat that about twice because you're just keeping that nice motion. And as you're doing it, you can clearly see where you've been. So. Backhand is my balance, making sure that is always flat on the surface. This hand is my guide, it's pushing the machine around. What you need to do is to not hold on. I know it sounds really silly, but if you hold on like you're on a roller coaster, you're gonna feel that DA vibration all the way through your arms. Now I've been doing it for too long and I'm dead inside, so I don't feel it at all. So nice and chilled, no white knuckles. You can hold it there, there, or there. I like to hold it there. And now we've, we've spread the product. I like to go up to 5.8. So you know you got your 4.8 to 5.8, go up to 5.8 and just do your passes. And you want to go about an inch per second when compounding.
bit warm, but it's not hot. You know, yeah. you need that kind of heat to, to soften up the paint and make it easier to work with. And again, when it comes to taking the product off, up and down, flip the towel, left and right. There you go. So if you stand here, look. Nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah, so all those cobwebs are gone. Stop following me. <laughs> what mind? You've got, no. Should we do a walk around? Should we do a walk and talk? We can do a walk and talk. We can do a walk and talk. We can walk backwards. We can walk and talk. Oh, that's quite close to your nose. Right. Everything's close to this nose. That's because I was not 3D. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Because I've just popped out and got everyone some lunch. Yes, what so you've been, been and done the important bit. Yeah. Um, but so far, what we've done is gone around with the ultimate compound to remove those scratches and swells. Yep. So we prep the surface, we're going to detail it down after lunch and then get some wax on. <laughs> so we're going to use the ultimate wax because it's a metallic car. Okay. So it's a synthetic wax, it's really going to boost <clears throat> that metallic and the fleck that's in the paint and just give it a real deep gloss and some solid protection for the winter. Is there a reason why we're not polishing? And um, because it's such a light colour, I know it looks pretty dark, and we've used a soft pad with the ultimate compound, right. we've already refined it as we're doing it. Okay. Normally you'd use a polish and a hard pad uh, and a soft pad to refine after using a compound on a hard pad, but because it's not taken so much, it's kind of refined as we've done it, because we're using it with a softer polishing pad. Nice. So we can go in with the high level polishing oil wax, which contains a lot of polish in it, so it's going to give it that gloss and also the protection. Good answer. That was a, do you know what? Good question, good answer. Good. <laughs> That's what I say. Bye. Yeah. I didn't think you'd catch me. Well, we have said on camera we're gonna use ultimate. Oh, have you? Well, it's a good thing I'm filming now. Thomas, you're in the bay. This is what happens. It's a rare treat. This is your first ever day in the bay with everyone. You make it sound like my first ever day in the bay. It is. It is this year. No, it's not this year. <laughs> I've been away for a little bit, not in jail, but just in time of general day. Um, what have you guys been up to? Basically, I've stood, not done a lot. The guys have fully waxed the car. What did you wax it with? NXT Tech Wax. <laughs> so not what to help out. So they're left out ultimate paste wax. Right. But this is exactly what I explained to the guys that is... It, the one he wants. No, no, it, <laughs> you find something in life that you like and you stick with it, don't you? Dale likes on the paste wax, I like the next paste wax, uh, liquid wax. Okay. There's no right or wrong about it. It's just how it is. It's isn't just, it? I mean, it's a perfect example they, for our guests in the back. So that's okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. And you're currently just using some glass in it for the glass. Yeah, so I've currently, yeah, I've, I've compounded and cleansed the windscreen. I'm just applying the, uh, the sealer, waiting, and then once this is on, we start taking the wax off, the NXT liquid wax. <laughs> Perfect. As soon as I saw it, I... Knew we didn't want to use it. I know I didn't want to use it, yeah. Well, each their own. Exactly. NXT paste wax is our flagship wax. Your flagship wax? Yeah, your flagship. Ah, flagship <laughs> wax. Dale's flagship <laughs> wax. If anything else, I know it's just a system. There's a system. There was a system. But it's fine, you know, it's always good to go rogue. And whoever, who else is going to go rogue? Oh, NXT is incredible. I've one thing else to say, no more further questions. Do you want to add anything else to the jury? No, I won't leave you to it. I'm just ready to come off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the uh, windscreen, windscreen <coughs> haze up. I mean, do you want me to leave now? No, 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 you stay. You, oh, okay. You bedline it. I mean, you've made this mess, you clear it up. <laughs> Look at what you've done. This will benefit from NXT. <laughs> don't look at me, don't judge me. Uh, NXT <laughs> Tech Wax. No, it's good wax. It's just Mr. Masterman's system that he's stressed about, not the choice of wax. Good. Well, this is going awkward now. <laughs> no, I want you, you want, to witness you Dale. Want me taking it off on camera, that's yeah. what you want. So basically, key towel, get it nice and folded. And we're going to do exactly what we've been doing for all the previous steps. So wipe one way. Oh, that's easy. Flip the towel. That looks so easy, Tom. Look at the gloss. The gloss is fantastic. <laughs> right, carry on. <laughs> so, again, just one way, then the other. Now, when you've done a few panels, just flip it to a dry side up. That way, you're not pushing the kind of residue from the wax yeah. around the car. You won't get any smears. Right. You didn't, uh... Cool. Multi-purpose uh, the wheels oh, yeah. well with uh, endurance tire dress. Oh, that looks lovely. That's a careful of the look. careful of the glass ceiling. He's missed a bit on the bonnet. 
Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you've done that bit of me, mate. You're going over it again. <laughs> so angry. I'm not angry. Fundale. We were talking about Fundale today. To try to be more fun on camera. It's not me. Shouldn't have to change for the camera. Don't change because the camera's there. It's not about that. It's about portraying personalities. <laughs> yeah, I realise I ain't got one. <laughs> Well, thanks, Tom. That, anyway, yeah, come on, watch. And it's lovely to come down. And hopefully, and see you soon. Hopefully, see you soon for another day in the bay. I don't know what the fuss is all about. Dale, he's not got time to do anything because he's busy in the bay. Nothing, mate. Good job. <laughs>